You saw the Lenatra ruins. Made good coin off that place. What she brought back, it speaks of a, of a trade deal between the French and Farah. Compagnie agents wooing the Farah clan with guns. But why? Why would the Farah stoop so low as to become French puppets? There has to be someone else on offer. This alliance threatens everything. We must put an end to it. Cully, you got the instincts of a crafty bastard. I was thinking the same. But if they're already in bed with the Compagnie, then we'd have to incite a lover's spat. My two enemies are busy flirting, and the sea people merchants hear of it before I do. Have my agents turned blind and deaf? The Compagnie moves swiftly in the shadows, and we still have the sun in our eyes. I've done good work, Cully. When I'm done beating the information out of my agents, I'll have more for you. The Compagnie Royale has a presence in the Red Isles. And their merchants carry stolen spices, perfumes, and luxuries from the Indian Ocean. I want you to rob those arrogant fucks. They spit on us, call us dogs, lice. Take everything and ruin them worse than the Great Plague did. Their lives are yours to take. But those goods belong to me. Chulin's demands are a burden we cannot carry on trade alone. And the Compagnie are a ripe target, slow to react and hated by all. So we do what pirates do best. Get in their faces and rip the silver spoon right out their mouths. Get to work, Cully. You looking for the spoils of the shadow? Don't bother. It's scattered farther from here than the coward who stole it. People call Uriko Freeman a, a hero, a freedom fighter. Well, he was a charlatan, and he sold us all a lie. That prick never intended to share the treasure. Pirate code my ass. All pirates are rats. They'll tear your eyes out if they think there's gold behind them. My job for the heist was to smuggle weapons and supplies to Lenitra. When I served my purpose, Freeman cast me aside. All that treasure, 
and not even a scrap for old John Skurlock. One day, this den at St. Anne will be far greater than the Nitra. And it's gonna be my name on everyone's lips. Keep that fire burning. Does a hardy one. Now there won't be any tales told of this feat, but you brought me a good and honest haul, Cully. Now my men inspected the goods, and they found this manifest, a little seed of rumor, one that will sprout very soon. 
Something huge is coming. A man of war, an invasion force, a plague ship. Doesn't say. The Compagnie has plans in motion, and we are blind to them. Mere captains won't know what's coming. We'll have to dig deeper for answers. For now, my agents in the Compagnie remain in the dark. Their findings useless. I'll press my boot down harder on their grimy snouts. The rats care too much for their own skin. Should my agents provide only more piss and swash, know that opportunity will fall on you. Cully, you're not half as useless as my other sea dogs. You found the manifest and also the French and Fara trade deal. Now I piece them together with the rumors my French agents been feeding me. It's bigger than I thought. A Compagnie merchant convoy carrying a season's worth of goods is sailing through the Red Isles. <laughs> I mean, this changes everything. Plunder it, and the world will tremble at our footsteps. We can become anything we want to be. Get that convoy, and New York receives ten times the normal haul. Tulin and his band of inbreds will be eaten out of our hands. And those French fops, they'll be so baffled they won't be able to tell Tim from us. Oh, Cully, destiny is calling, and our names are on her lips. Ready your ship, gird your loins, and seize that fucking convoy! Destiny awaits. <laughs>